This is a MediaTek Dimensity 9000 the board, and we will use it in this demo to showcase how MTE can detect memory bugs. According to Google, memory bugs are the top contributor to Android security vulnerabilities. Memory bugs are responsible also for the higher lifetime costs in software development and poor user experience. Additionally, developers know how difficult could be finding a memory bug. The memory tagging extension developed by Google and ARM is aimed at providing developers with the right tool to easily detect memory bugs and with this improve robustness and security of Android applications. MTE working principle is based on a lock and key model. Memory locations are tagged by adding four bits of metadata to each 16 bytes of physical memory. Tagging memory implements the lock. Pointers and therefore virtual addresses are modified to contain, to contain the key. In order to implement the key bits without requiring larger pointers, MTE uses the top by ignore feature of the ARM V8 architecture. This allows the top byte to store metadata. In MTE, four bits of the top byte are used to provide the key. At runtime, the CPU checks that the pointer and the metadata tags match on each load and store. Android apps that incorrectly store information in the top byte of the pointer are guaranteed to break on an MTE enabled device. We will showcase how MTE can help developers detecting memory bugs when developing their apps. This is an Android app we have implemented with the most common memory bugs identified by Google. The app is running from Android Studio in debut mode. We have enabled MTE sync mode in the Android manifest. Let's see what happens when we press the first button and trigger a memory bug after using a pointer that has been previously freed. So after pressing the button, after pressing the button, MTE detects a lock key metadata mismatch and makes the app crashing, pointing to the exact line of the code that has caused the crash. Let's see what happens if we disable MTE in the Android manifest. We set memtag mode to off. We launch the app and press the same button to trigger the memory bug. In this case, we see that nothing happens. The app doesn't crash and MTE doesn't signal the cause of the crash. Finally, let's have a look at the typical bug report we get when MTE is enabled. We first can see the content of memory registers at the moment of the crash. We can see that some registers contain info in the top byte which correspond to the memory tag using, used by MTE. Some lines below, we can see the message from MTE pointing to the cause of the crash. In this case, MTE is telling us that the cause of the crash is use after free. It means we are trying to use a memory that has been previously freed and is no longer allocated for use. 